There's two and a half minutes to go in the third period. The Northwest Warriors have scored three unanswered goals in the third period, two within the last minute. Uh, Ryan Pinder from Sportsnet 960, the awesome. fan, loving this right here. Um, we're going to roll the first. Are we rolling goal number two in first? Or is that what we're rolling in first? Let's, let's just roll it and I'll pick it up here. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Watch number 14. This is Kate McComsky. She slides it. It looks like it goes under the goaltender somehow. Five hole. And that made it two to two. And for the Northwest Warriors to take the lead, here we go. It's another one, and that's number two. It looks like Arad Badamshade. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Good for Arad. Three to two now with two minutes to go in the third period. This is the last period, the finals for the BT Outdoor Classic Division 7. Northwest beating McKnight right now. Okay, we can catch our breath now. Uh, as I mentioned, Ryan Pinner from Sportsnet 960, the fan joining us, and you guys are down here doing your regular show. I know you're a bit distracted by the hockey action, but we got to talk about Calgary Flames and Mark Giordano. What do you guys know about that? We know nothing, and no one is uh, saying anything from the Flames. We've got Brad Treliving joining the program at 7 o'clock, but uh, I would be concerned with how quiet things have been. A day has passed. Nothing has been said. Uh, we don't know. Is he fine? Is he hurt? Is he gone for one game? Is he done for the year? We don't know, and what makes things interesting is the trade deadline's Monday, and they're going to have to decide whether to buy, sell, tweak. Do you need a defenseman? Do you not? So I think being quiet might even be strategic, given that if you know he's gone, the price might go up to get a defenseman if you announce it publicly. We really don't know, but we'll try to find out at 7. Uh, we do have a game tonight. They're taking on yeah. the Islanders uh, on Long Island. I mean, how does that weigh in with the defensive quote-unquote stud? Possibly not in the lineup for Calgary tonight. Uh, if he doesn't play, any amount of time they miss him is huge. He's yeah. their captain. He leads them in time on ice most nights. And when this team is down, in late in the third, who's the guy they follow? It's number five, Mark Giordano. They're not the same team without him. Uh, if you don't know, he got hurt in the dying seconds of the last game against the New Jersey Devils. The Flames getting the win, but, of course, losing Giordano. We don't know what it is. Uh, when Brad Living's on this morning, what are you going to ask him? First question. What's going on with Gio? <laughs> we need a straight answer here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, but also, Monday is trade deadline, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So uh, are you looking to buy? Are you looking to sell? Where is Curtis Glencross at? We saw Yarmor Jagger get moved yesterday. Does that sort of give us an idea of what the market would be for a second, third-line winger? Could you expect a second rounder for Giordano? Do you want a part that can play now? Lots going on in Brad Tree Living's world. It's his first year as a full-time GM, not an assistant. So yeah. we're going to learn a lot about him between now and Monday at 10. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan Pinner from Sportsnet 960, The Fan. They're broadcasting just in the lobby here at the Mark and McPhail Center down here at Winsport COP. Uh, Tara Sloan's hanging out with...